Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath trying to set up this setup for um, this video. And I want to do this video as casual as possible, as easy as possible. And I, oh, it's so funny, never say never y'all, never say never. <laughs> my name is Frances Michelle, what's up y'all? If you're here for the first time, hi, what's up? I'm so happy you are here today watching this video. If you're returning subscribers, you guys are the MVP. In today's video, guys, um, I said that I was not gonna do makeup, I was not gonna do makeup videos, anything beauty related, and here I am, eating my words, recording my signature everyday makeup look for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started, and I wanted to show y'all that it's very easy to do. All I, I have my makeup in my makeup bag that I take with me everywhere I go, so it's a very, very easy, makeup look for the title and the thumbnail so i do have some blemishes i am breaking out i'm trying new products and that's what happens and yeah let's go ahead and get started now. i already prepped my face with um moisturizer um serums eye creams all the yas so i go ahead and primer y'all this is the primer i have been using forever and it's the covergirl pore minimizing primer which is absolutely holy girl when it comes to drugstore i just want to put out there i have three kids so if y'all hear them in the background it's mom life y'all i can't do anything about it and i'm gonna stop because my eye robot is about to go into the duck and it's about to clean itself all right so the beauty of recording with kids and all that, you know? All right, so the start of the show, it's not my eyeshadow, you guys, is my foundation. Foundation, you guys, ever since I've been, I did the video, I can't stop using this foundation. It is holy crap. I am no makeup artist. I don't consider myself a makeup artist. I am taking classes though, you guys. So excited to share with that with you guys very soon. I'm taking some online classes to become a certified makeup artist. What? And I can't wait to share. Anyway, so let's do this like a really nice girl talk, sort of. When this video comes live, you guys, I already ordered the Dyson Airwrap. I, people have been like raving about it. I decided to go ahead and order it myself and see what the yaz is all about. If you have it, let me know in the comments below. People told me that the type of hair that I have, which is really like thick, and you can't see it right now, it won't work. Okay, so with this foundation, I like to use a foundation brush, use whichever. I just picked this one out of my brushes. And I like to dab it like I'm using a beauty blender. I like to dab it. Just so that the product adheres to my skin. And then with a damp beauty blender, this is completely up to you. I just like to kind of like pick up a little bit of the excess. This foundation, guys, honestly speaking, it is medium to full coverage, but it feels so lightweight on the skin that you can wear for an everyday look. Okay, so I'm going to go in with two concealers at the moment. Um, I still haven't found the conce one concealer that can hide everything on my under eyes and another concealer that brightens at the same time. So that's why I use these two. The Infallible Full Wear um, Concealer is really, really like um, pigmented, but it's not as bright as the NARS, but the NARS is more on the sheer. All right, so things have changed. So now what I do is I put this one, which is a thicker one, like that. And then I use the NARS to kind of like use it as the highlight wing and then I just apply it this way. Damp Beauty Blender and let's go to work. Okay, so then I set my under eyes and I set all my concealer with a loose powder and the one I'm currently obsessed with is the Anastasia Translucent uh, Loose Setting Powder. And I am, but I am using to the last little powder, or whatever. As honey, I still bake, but just on my face because I suck at the kitchen when it comes to baking. When it comes to food, best believe your girl can throw it out. Just to kind of like set my foundation and make sure that it lasts me for a long time, I like to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Finish Powder, and I just dab 
the powder brush and dab it everywhere else on my face where I didn't apply the baking. This helps make it look more flawless and helps the um, foundation stay in place. Okay, so while that sets, I go ahead and use bronzer. And the bronzer I've been using is actually not a bronzer, which is so crazy. It's the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop um, Instant Mattifying Powder, but in the darker shade. I'm so crazy. But reason why I like it, it's because it kind of has the effect of what powder foundation will do to your skin so kind of like make it flawless and whatever so now we kind of contour like really high and i start on this corner right here and just kind of start dabbing and bringing it inwards but i kind of try to stay where my eye starts so if my eye starts right here this is literally where i try to stay there and just bring it all back out just so that my face looks like not like crap you know <laughs> that sounded like crap but it wasn't crap so i kind of just like to dab and stay on the outer corners of the face okay and then obviously i bring warmth to my forehead if you're a makeup artist and you're cringing at the way i do my bronzer i'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then um We'll come back. Okay, so the start of the show, guys, it's funny because y'all think that I've been using like a random eyeshadow. But the start of the show, when it comes to my eyes and that burnt orange look, it's actually my bronzer. Yep, that's it, y'all. That's it. Sometimes I use a like a burnt orange shade from a Morphe palette that I have upstairs, which I'm not going to go get. Um, but I'll link it down below on the on the products used. Sometimes I use that uh, palette and I use the the like the orangey shade just to kind of go over it if I want to kind of like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> honestly, it's this, you guys. Use it all over my lid and all over my crease, you guys. Like honestly speaking, it's funny because when you guys message me on Instagram and you're like, oh my god, I love that orange shade and which palette is it and which color name is it and I was like, hey, if you only knew, girl, you only knew. And I just do this like i said this is like an everyday look if i'm trying to go out and i'm trying to make it pop then i use this but on top i go in with that burnt orange from the murphy palette but other than that it's literally this eyeshadow and all i do is i apply it on my crease all the way up to where my brow starts and then I kind of blend it out and in and out and in and out and in. And then I grab a shader brush, something like this. I'm new to this, you guys. I'm new, new, new. Something like this, you guys. And then I apply it on my lid. I go in the bottom of my eye and I'll apply a little bit just to kind of tie the whole look up. That is literally all I do to my eyes. Now, depending on the mood I'm in, if I wanna go ahead and ump it up a little bit, I go ahead and apply liner on the outer corners of my eyes, and then I apply tons of mascara, and then it kinda gives it like a more like in-depth look. Or if I'm just kinda running out the door and all I wanna do is just put mascara on, then obviously, duh, I just put mascara on and I don't put any eyeliner, and that is all I do to my eyes. But today, just for the purpose of this video, um, so that you can see that you don't have to be a master at doing like a wing eyeliner. Okay, so I just have a regular brown. Oh, and by the way, I use brown. I hate using black. I just use a regular brown liner. And I think this is the e.l.f. with Jen Atkins. So I just apply a little bit on the outer B corner of my eyes. On the top. It looks really weird. I know. Just kind of like crazy. And then tip I do is I grab a liner brush there you go i grabbed an eyeliner brush and i go ahead and smudge and i go ahead and smudge the disaster i just created in my eyes so i just smudge it staying really really close to my lash line i don't bring it inside because i don't want to close my eyes Sometimes if it's darker than the other, I just come and just adjust it. 
but I kind of stay outside because if you bring it inside the inner corners of your eyes, your eyes are going to start looking like they're really closed and I want my eyes to look really blank. Blah. So I go ahead and coat my lashes with a lot of these, a lot of this mascara and make my eyelash, my eyelashes pop. Okay, so mascara is done and I went ahead and wiped out um, the, uh, the baking. And then I apply a little bit of the Iconic Illuminator eye, uh, Drops, which I love because it looks so natural. And I just kind of like, that was not supposed to happen. With my finger, I just dab it. See how pretty it looks? But it's not over like glazy sort of thing. And whenever I have extra, I just kind of like find something to wipe it. And then for the lips, you guys, I've been obsessed with um, keeping them hydrated and moisturized. Um, and oopsie, sorry. I've been pairing the By Mario Sculpting Liner in the color Dimitri with the Summer Fridays um, Lip Butter in the, in the something. So that. Going in with the Summer Friday Lip Balm, Lip Butter in Summer Beige or whatever it's called. It's just the two colors. They pair so nicely. Sticky. Okay, you guys, so that's all. This is my look that I've been using on an everyday basis, you all guys. Well, I can't even speak. <laughs> so this is what I've been using, you guys. Um, When you guys tell me like how do you do that on an everyday basis it's just really easy to do i just kind of minimize the products and just kind of make it work for me but this is the complete look you guys that's it and no filter just straight out skin for you guys as raw as and real as possible and don't look at my hair it's due for is <sighs> maintenance so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did you let me know by giving a thumbs up and sharing this video. I'll see you all in my próximo video. Bye.